Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this Inorca dual band USB adapter for Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's a dual band 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and it's a mini USB stick. It's not micro, it's not oversized, it's something in between. So the problem is actually to find the right size or the yeah a, a good price range with a good function functionality there are so many of these wi-fi usb sticks around and there are of course the bigger ones like something like this which you have like oversized like the width and also the antennas and everything of course something like this will work usually much better especially regarding reception and one other thing you have to be aware of that the version on the right side because it has a much wider width it does not only block one usb port it can easily block two or even three usb ports on your computer if they are on the left or, the, or on the right side and it's also more prone to damages I mean, if you have something on your USB port and you hit it with your hand or it drops or something like that, then the USB port can easily break. This is a little bit better. Of course, it would be even much better if you used an even smaller size, like I think they are called nano size or something like that, where you just uh, have a uh, really small part visible everything else is inside i mean of course it starts here then you would have something uh, which ends maybe here and that's even much better regarding safety but the problem is then only just a small part is outside which can act as an antenna and so i think that's a good compromise uh, in between also regarding the price it's not too expensive not too cheap it's something in between it's around $15 and it provides actually almost everything uh, which we need and yeah it's supposed to work like with standard drivers you don't have to install something from a CD-ROM or download from a website which is good i'm going to test that now um, yeah take it out of the box and push it into my pc and then i will compare it to my built-in wi-fi i'm not going to compare it with this one of course there's no way to compete with this but i'm going to compare it with the internal antenna with my laptop so this is more like something which I would say will replace the Wi-Fi antenna or the Wi-Fi dongle when you have a laptop sometimes over time after a couple of years sometimes the Wi-Fi doesn't work anymore of your Wi-Fi and then you need something to replace and this I think could be a good option so I'm going to compare it with my built-in Wi-Fi to see how this works uh yeah regarding features they say it has an soft ap like a soft access point i think that's just uh, something which every wi-fi dongle can be turned into an access point and but you would have to like uh, your pc or your laptop would have to be connected through ethernet and then you can use such a dongle or wi-fi adapter as an access point of course if you have two of them you can get the signal in from the router into your pc and then use the other one as an access point doesn't work as far as i know it doesn't work if you have just one but it doesn't make uh, much sense i mean except you want to use it as a repeater but then you have to buy something else it will be a little bit more expensive yeah, so let's open that and see what we really get. And yeah, that's the dongle here. Nothing really special. It has uh, an LED here. and But no additional buttons, no nothing, just straight forward. And we have something inside, of course, yeah, CD-ROM. 
in the listing i was suspecting something like that in the listing they say no cd-rom when we open the package there's a cd-rom which nobody has anymore and yeah of course probably you could download it from the website but i'm just trying it without so i think it should be possible to use it without a driver or something like that or additional software sometimes it works a little bit better when you have like specific software i'm not going to use that or yeah maybe let's see if i can upload it if you are interested into that the problem is just do we have a brand name that people will find it yeah let's see i mean i have my old uh, cd-rom drive and i could attach it and then i could upload it and so everybody could use that if you want but i do not suggest to use that you usually or let's say uh, sometimes there are unneeded there is unneeded software on that i am not calling it virus or adware but sometimes there can be things like ads for new products of course it can be similar to like adware i'm not expecting virus definitely not from normal seller but you don't know you you can never be sure so if you can run this thing without software uh, yeah it, it's highly recommended so this is the situation now on my pc and as you can see i'm using ethernet cable but still i have the wi-fi available here's the original wi-fi and here when you plug this usb wi-fi dongle in you get an additional wi-fi here so that's the wi-fi 3 you can already see the difference it has a really bad reception it can only receive or see the signal of one wi-fi network compared to the built-in Wi-Fi which sees four Wi-Fi networks so that's really disappointing I'm I'm not sure if it's only a problem because it can only see 2.4 uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi but I guess this is also 2.4 I'm not 100% sure I mean at least you can see 2.4 gigahertz it has same level of reception so if I would activate that i mean uh, say connect it doesn't connect there's a huge problem i've been trying for almost hours and it never said it connected successfully well no matter what i've been trying to do i mean you can even go to the network configuration and then you can go to wi-fi and you can even disable the original wi-fi here and then it uh, yeah you are sure that it would use this one here the new wi-fi but it's causing somehow uh, problems and yeah it all also brings an error message here it says random hardware address addresses are not supported by the following adapters wi-fi 3 so that's the new one i mean the in orca wi-fi which we are testing now so i've been trying around here with these settings back and forth between the original wi-fi and the in orca wi-fi dongle and it definitely didn't work so i thought okay i cannot just finish this video without trying to install this software even if i didn't like that i just wanted to give it a try and i installed the software by the way i've been using my old cd-rom optical drive that's a usb drive i put in the cd-rom and i've uploaded it to mega.nz so if you want to use that instead of having to uh, like use an old cd-rom you can download it i'll put down the link to this drive or to this folder i mean i have created a zip file out of all the files and you can use that yeah you can see here it is that that's uh, all my folders here in orca and yeah i have created this zip file it's 108 megabytes 
large not too large so i think i can leave it here for quite some time till my cloud drive is full so yeah just try in if you don't have a cd-rom and download and extract it and then use the install i've been clicking on setup uh, setup uh, dot exe yeah here it is how it looks after you extract it from the zip file and then i have been clicking on the setup dot exe which looks like yeah that's probably the one um yeah so i mean it didn't bring up some error messages so i think it was installing a good version good everything and after you install you get this uh, icon here you can click on that and it will open something here and you can see usually when you have it running and you have plugged in your usb stick the in orca it will start to try to connect to wps the wi-fi protected setup and it goes into loop yeah that's exactly what happens now as you have been able to see i didn't click anything it just came up so if you just boot your pc and you have everything like you don't have to click and on anything it's just installed and of course it will do uh, it will change the setup so it will uh, start automatically when you reboot your pc it will go into the sysray and then it will try to do the wi-fi protected setup and it never ends you can leave it running for hours probably days weeks uh, it will never end no matter what you do here you can hit the push button configuration here and then you can push the button on your router uh, i've tried now for almost hours and i couldn't find a solution for that maybe it's described i mean we have some kind of uh information here maybe if you really want to do that i think there's somewhere an information release note or whatsoever maybe you can find some information for me a software which doesn't work right after out of the box with normal uh things like intuitive uh, that we, this doesn't work so i've really been trying everything i mean you don't have just this menu here when you double click on that you usually get the additional menu or you can go to the tray and then right click on that and then click on open config utility and you get this additional menu here but problem is you cannot access this information because uh, it's always hidden by this pop-up here you can close it but it comes back like after a couple of seconds then you have just a couple of seconds to write in uh, any whatever you want to use that i mean you can also use the escape button uh, like i do and then you can go to profile and you can see there is your wi-fi unfortunately uh, now it changed to this uh, silly icon here and I cannot use my mouse pointer before um, I have been able to use still my mouse and then you can click on let's say profile and available networks and so on and sometimes you can see then your SSIDs your networks and you can even click on that and apply your network keys and so on I've been doing everything all the things now which I'm telling you and it didn't work it just didn't work uh, no matter what I did what I've been applying here uh it, it didn't work you can see when you when you wait for a couple of when you wait for some time here it will show you networks you can uh, then click let's say on the 2.4 giga gigahertz network and then apply your network key and try to connect for me it still doesn't work for me it looks like complete fail i've already had like other wi-fi adapters like usb wi-fi adapters the one which i was showing you at the beginning of the video the one with the two large antennas and it had somehow a very similar software i think it was also the real tech maybe it was a different version and it was working there and it was not really working also 
right out of the box with the Windows 10 drivers here but with the Realtek USB drivers it has been working it looks like for this one it's not working at least not for me maybe it will work for you now you have some information you have the software you have everything if you have ordered that yeah maybe give it a try and let's see maybe it works for you and it would be really interesting to learn from you uh, if you have been able to manage to connect and yeah it would be really nice to learn how you did it or if it just worked yeah just write everything down into the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about the things and learn new stuff or whatsoever so yeah that's it for now i mean from my side total fail complete disaster didn't work uh, maybe I did something wrong I have no clue usually it's not such a problem for me to connect with such things but for me it doesn't work fail don't buy the thing uh, go to something better with maybe also better reviews I mean it had bad or at least mixed reviews and so we can assume that the bad reviews are the true reviews the good reviews are probably the fake reviews and so I can only recommend to stay away from the thing so that's it for now I still hope I was able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about the things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.